Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be kicking off the first in the series, You Need This, so stay tuned. All right guys, this is the first in the series, You Need This. Um, this is pretty much gonna be a series where I bring you cool items, tools, or whatever it is um, that I think will just make your lives easier or lives better, work more efficiently, and things that will just help you on the long run. Um, that's mostly items and stuff on the channel. Um, I'm only gonna bring you stuff that I generally use or have used personally, and I think that's actually really nice. Um, and just bring it to you in help, hopes and effort to ho help you guys out. Anyways, without further ado, today we're gonna be talking about screws. So yes, screws are not that much fun or people don't wanna talk about them too much. You don't really see a bunch of guys talking about screws. People always wanna talk about drills and impact drivers, but we're gonna be talking about screws today, all right? So screws, there's all different kinds of screws. We're not here to talk about all of them, but we're gonna be talking about this. This is um, screws or lightning screws aka code name from the Philips Screw Company. All right, so that's Philips with two L's. So there's a company called Philips Screw Company. It's been around since 1935. Um, they've been saying innovating. Um, but this one right here in particular is interior wood screws, number 10, two inch. Fastest starting, fastest driving, no more drop screws, uh, low energy stick type performance with yellow zinc coating. All right, so sure, none of that stuff is all that really interesting. But what we're gonna talk about here is the uh, stick tight uh, high performance nest, meaning no more drop screws. Um, so the low energy screw, threading screw, you can actually tell, I mean, if you've driven a lot of screws, you can really tell um, on how, how much um, energy it takes to drive the screw. Um, but most people generally aren't gonna be too fascinated or whatever by the low uh, energy thread uh, screws, mainly because almost everyone driving screws these days on, or at least um, construction driving screws these days are gonna be using impact drivers. And impact drivers these days are so powerful, um, don't drive almost anything these days, um, or any kind of screw at least. So, um, most people aren't gonna notice this, but it is really nice to notice um, if you've driven a lot of screws back to back and you just go to something that drives really nice, all right? Um, but where people will notice this is on job tests where you're either driving hundreds if not thousands of screws per day, you'll probably get a lot more battery life out of that tool on that battery by using these um, low energy screws. Anyways, so this one right here, like I said, is a number 10 two inch screw. There's nothing too particular about the screw. If you look at it, it doesn't look like it's anything special. It's not like pink or anything like that, right? It's just any normal screw. Uh, we'll throw some pictures or whatnot. So um, on this screw, um, if you look at the head, it is a Phillips head and a square drive head. It really uses a combination of both to really get that uh, bit tightness in there. You can use a Phillips uh, bit to drive it. You can use a square drive the bit to drive it. But what's uh, what makes this stick tight is you have to use this screw with the bit that it comes with, and it all comes with the bit. Okay, so if you look at the bit, uh, it's a combination of a Phillips bit and a square bit in one. And on the flutes, it kind of has like ribs or edges that. Um, that um, really help that screw or that bit really bite in there tight so that the screw doesn't wobble or go anywhere. And that's what really gets that stick tight performance, all right? So here, we'll demonstrate it here real quick. We'll take the screw, and I wanna show you, it's not magnetic or anything, all right? There's no magnetism on, on this bit or the screw. You put the screw on here, right? And look, just by pulling on the screw, I'm not sure if you can hear that, it moves the bit in and out. That's pretty much how well it sticks on there and with no magnetism, okay? So, look at that. So it will really hold the impact driver really in there. Uh, it won't fall off. I mean, if you leave it there for a long time, go lunch, come back, it's gonna be on the ground. Um, but it really works really tight. So here we'll do that again. So this is generally the case. Um, so there's like one other bit that I've used personally that can do this, and it's gonna be the Makita XPS impact driver bit. Um, but it doesn't do it all the time. You really have to use the perfect screw um, and the bit to really get that. And sometimes you can't really get it on a uh, horizontal like that. You've gotta go in at a little bit of an angle for that to happen. So the interesting thing about this bit, or this one is it actually works so well, you can do it upside down. Look at that. So it even holds in upside down. Um, and if, if I had a vertical one, I'll throw a picture of it. I was working um, in a crawl space or something and we were attaching some cable. Um, and I, lo and behold, you just use it, stuck it up there, bam, impact driver was up there. It was being held in completely upside down by just that. 
Look at that. It doesn't even fall off very easily either. So um, that's what that's that's so good about it. So this one right here is the interior screw, and on the interior screw, they codenamed Lightning, and it's yellow. Okay. The exterior screw is Velocity. All right. And this is exterior wood screw. Uh, this one right here is number 10, three inch, and you get roughly about 50 of these in the box. Same low energy threading, um, up to some ridiculous number of hours in salt spray coating. Wobble free performance with hex stick, uh, stick driver bit. So this one right here comes with uh, obviously the driver bit and um, the screw. So the interesting thing about this one is it's a hex screw or more like a Torx type bit. It uses a completely different um, bit head and a bit um, than, the ex than the interior ones. So it does still have a little bit of that stick type performance. So watch, it won't go anywhere. It still sticks in there a little bit, a lot better than um, um, other ones, but it's nowhere nearly as good as the interior one with the Phillips and the uh, square bit. So it will still hold in there a little bit. Um, this one doesn't hold anywhere nearly as tight as the uh, Phillips and square bit like I just mentioned. This one, every once in a while, if you do it like this, you can really get the hold in there upside down, right? See, it'll hold in there upside down, uh, but it won't do it every time like the interior ones do. So this one right here is Milwaukee M18 Fuel Surge Impactor. I don't know which generation this is about 2760 and this one's really nice mainly because it has the power low sound low kickback and works really nice let's see this one will do it too um, so it actually works really well these screws are really nice um, i've used probably a couple don't know how many boxes of screws we use we we'll go look at the order numbers but at least at least gone through somewhere between five to ten boxes of, of each one of these just remodeling stuff um so like i said phillips screw company if you look at all the specs they pass all the astm uh, standards and meets a bunch of code and anyway stuff like that so these are screws that I would use um, especially if you are either working upside down and you have to be driving screws or something upwards or if you're on like a ladder or a second story on a roof or something like that where you probably don't want to be dropping stuff uh, funny story uh, on the gen 3 I'm not sure if everyone else has this Milwaukee uh, not this fuel um, surge impact driver but the regular gen 3 fuel impact driver has this infamous collet issue um, and lo and behold we we're I think we were on the ladder trying to run in some low voltage cabling uh, using a spade bit to make a small little hole or for a couple wires and then we didn't know it had the collet issue at the time went to put it back down on the belt and the bit fell off luckily it fell all the way down there and nobody was there uh, nobody got hurt but the gen 3 one always has the problem the surge one i haven't had too much issue with it i don't know if it's because the low energy on this one or maybe the surge just doesn't have the issue but this is generally right now kind of the favorite uh, m18 or 18 volt impact driver um, so like I said, you don't want to be uh, using this all, these screws all the time, mainly because they're a little bit more expensive. If you like it that much and you want to pay just a little bit more premium price to, to use it all the time, that's great. Um, but I would be definitely using it, if, like I say, if you're driving upside down, you're on second story roof or something where there's people under you or whatnot, you don't want them to, to get hit by the screw or something just because you dropped it. Um, like I said, there's one other impact driver bit that works really well like that, kind of like the Makita XPS impact driver bit. I, don't have it in the shop with me right now, but um, it, it works well, not as well, because you can't really get the stick 90 degrees, but it does work pretty well. Uh, the Makita Gold, uh, regular Makita Gold impact driver bit with the magnetic bit actually works really well too. Not good enough to hold it like that, but hold the impact driver like that, but that one works really well. So these screws, I think, uh, depending on what's length or whatnot you need, you can get, I wanna say around 325 to 400, depending on length. Um, for roughly around fifty dollars, um, you can buy them either on Amazon or on Ace Hardware. And there's a few other retailers you can get them at. Um, just go to their site and try to figure out which where it comes from. Um, so that's a little bit more expensive than I guess the screws that I would normally use. I'm usually using um, who makes those screws? The Uber Great, the GRK R4, R4 screws or the SPAC structural screws. So it's a little bit more expensive per screw like that. Um, but when you're really working upside down in a really tight position, then you just can't really get it. You really want to use something that you're just not going to get so frustrated that the 
that the uh, screws are always falling off the bit, um, especially right when you get it started. When you get it started, it's fine, but just getting it started a lot of times is pretty much the, the hardest part. Um, you can also get, uh, if you just wanna try them out, you can either buy like these smaller boxes. Um, I, I can't remember how many boxes I went through. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. somewhere between like five to 10 of each. Um, for, I'm not sure how much this one was. We can look it up later, but you can get like a variety pack if you wanna get started on it. And it comes in like a carry case. Um, and there's probably somewhere around three to 500 screws in there, all different assortments for roughly around 50 bucks. They have ones for interior and they have one for exterior. I, ha I have not seen one or do not know about one where they have mixed the two, okay? So, um, like I said, if you're gonna do stuff uh, and you can use the interior ones because you're inside, I would stick with that because the exterior ones just, just, just have a little bit less stick type performance, but um, I hope that helps. Um, so, like I said, uh, this is a great script. I've been using it um, for at least a few months on, on a few jobs. Um, don't worry, if it, no, this video is not sponsored. They didn't pay us to do this. We actually went out and got these with our own monies. We actually first ordered them on Amazon. Amazon messed it. I'm not sure if they messed it up, but when we, when we got the box, it was empty. All the screws, the box was open. There were no screws in the box. Um, so we actually ended up just going, I want to say around 30-ish minutes to pick up the screws from Ace Hardware and they worked really well. Um, so hope this video's helped you guys out. Uh, hope you guys learned something. Um, and this is one of the designs I hope you need. So we'll see you guys next time.